just us. We're gonna have a talk. That's right. You gotta take out the official, so you know this is a real deal. Official beef. A couple things. Uh, this has got to be the last time I talk about this fucking shit. About might is right, publishing that shit, and how everyone right now is writing my fucking coattails. All your satanic groups are on my fucking coattails. Shit that I helped lay down. Anton LaVey too, but this is shit that very few people had to do with. But here's the thing. I'm a fucking artist, not a politician. You fucking get that? I preface this conversation by saying I'm an artist because artists, what we do is we fuck up, we fuck off, we fuck around, but most importantly, we fuck up. And we try to fix our fuck ups, and that's where the art comes in. That's where the special part of art comes in, is, is when you make a mistake and you gotta dwell on how to fix it, or you look at some stupid fucking thing like a pallet, and you figure out how to make it into a bench, and next thing you know, it's, it's a big deal at Home Depot. Everyone's buying pallets. They're not recycling pallets. So, who's the enemy? Me or you? The culture vultures. All these people calling themselves witches, calling themselves Satanists. What the fuck have you done to even take that title? That title's for very few people. Very few people. The people who. That title's for the, the few that live courageously fat fucks in America, and I'm one of them, you all live deliciously, get the fuck out of here, you listen to that and you, you go on and, and go grab Twinkies, or whatever, no, Satanists live courageously, live courage, as far as might is right goes, there's no difference in me publishing might is right, there's no difference in that versus, let's say, 2 chain. Two chains putting up Farrakhan on his record. I appreciate Farrakhan. I'm from Chicago. How can you not? I grew up around Farrakhan and the nation of Islam, and I know how hardcore they are. And I appreciate that hardcore nature. But I also know the only time I've ever seen Nazis and and people of color and brace has been the nation of Islam and white supremacy, actual neo Nazis. Okay, so they they are all on the same page as far as separatism. But that doesn't get brought up. Why? Because all of you bitches are looking for some fucking shock value for a podcast. Or or to climb. And to say you're, how you're better than me. Or better than this person. Or better than that person. But all that shit's spelled out and might is right, isn't it? You whine until you get your way. You whine until you're on top. And then you act the same way as all the people on top. That's how this fucking goes. That's how all this garbage goes. Okay? I've taken this garbage seriously because as it goes with great power comes great responsibility. And I have realized the impact that what, what we did. Get my hat on so it looks fucking good. Can't have a fashion brand and look like a hobo. Well, I'm selling hobo bags, so there's that. But, you know, with great... Power comes great responsibility. And so I've had to cling to this shit to make right. I understand the impact that I made doing what I did. But like I said as an artist, I don't I don't really fucking I don't feel that bad. Because that's my job to fuck up and to fuck around and to cause conversations and to cause beefs and rifts and shit like that. Okay? Again, I'm not a politician. You should reserve your garbage for judges, for cops, for authority figures, which, as much as I have great power, I am not an authority figure. I'm for smashing the state. I'm for destroying power. I'm for dispersing power amongst everyone. I always have been. Look at my whole body of work and quit picking on one minute detail the day that you or any of you listening can do what I've done I'll be a big fucking deal for you big fucking deal for the world but no one can do what I've done that I know of I have this few I shouldn't say that but for my position for my zip code
from where I come from, that's a rough deal. I've done a lot. I've had a 30-year career. Yet people keep pulling out a, a little segment, a little chunk of my career and throwing it in my face. Look at my whole fucking career. I don't have a bunch of that shit in my career. There's a lot of shit talkers out there too that will go on and on and talk about me. This guy holds a grudge. What the fuck? A grudge? There's a, fi- there's a big difference between holding a grudge and wanting justice, wanting truth, wanting your say in a matter that has everything to do with you. But none of you bitches come to me. None of you have asked me any questions. You just say, this guy holds a grudge, or this guy's for free speech, or, you know, I, I, I read things, people defending me, and people attacking me. None of them have ever talked to me. How the fuck would they know? People tell me I changed. I haven't fucking changed at all. You got that? Put that on fucking record. I'm never changing. I carry my issues with me to the grave. I gotta fight fucking being a drug addict, an alcoholic, and a fucking violent offender. I gotta fucking fight every day. Not put my hands around your fucking throat and choking. And and that's that's shit that I picked up from childhood and I carry through my whole life. It's like, you know, when they say an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic for life. And you got to carry that, and you got to deal with it. And that's what I got to deal with every fucking day. Okay? I didn't fucking change. I can't change. I carry my shit with me. But the thing is, I realized some of the shit I did was wrong, or wasn't right, or didn't sound right, or... I'm not even going to say it was right or wrong. I'm going to say the impact. I realized the impact of it. You know, I realized the impact of it. And that's why I try to... How you doing, buddy? You know, I realized the impact of it. I just realized that shit. And so... You know, there's a lot of... There's, there's, there's no excuse for it. There's no excuse for the things I said that people keep throwing up. There's not. It's just wrong. But, yes, there is reasons. There's nuances to everything. And, and you should try to fucking deal with nuances in the world. You know? Um, we're nuanced, circumstantial individuals. If you can't apply that to every little situation, and you're always going to generalize things, it's no different than the kind of shit that I was talking about 30 fucking years ago. When you start generalizing things from people of color to white people to sex workers to anything, it's awful. I should say Caucasians because I get that whole trip too. But this, it's, you know, life is a learning experience, right? I think, I think you may have had enough for today. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. April 30th, you know, and yeah, I didn't get to reveal all my shit this November. A lot of shit happened. A lot of it was due to COVID. A lot of it was due to me having, wanting, me work. I work with hardcore people. You know, a lot of this stuff had, had you know, a lot of the delay and, and what we're doing, it has to do with that. But end of April, April 30th, while purchase, we will do the mystery in Chicago. And it will be a fun time. And it will also kick off the first Satanic Almanac, where we will all have a part in this conversation. That's right. Once again, I'm redefining Satanism. I'm not redefining it, but I'm up in the ante on it. I'm evolving it. I'm changing that. Not me. Now, let me tell you. This beautiful bling can be yours. Very low price. It goes for six sixty six normally, hundred six six hundred and sixty six dollars. But right now, on freezing moon can obsess you. Is only one hundred sixty six sixty six. Help me buy some art supplies and keep my hands from around your throat. And to make it clear, you know, I don't have a pro, you know, I published a book. I'm a book publisher. I never heard in my life that that was a bad thing. 
it seems like it's only bad when you're a poor person. But I know I've, as a poor person, I'm definitely held to a different fucking standard than other people. And you can fuck yourself for that. As far as might is right goes, anything like that, libertarian ideas, those things serve a purpose. They serve a purpose to cause a conversation. And that conversation should always lead to the left-hand path. And that would include left, leftist ideals, feeding people, sharing, taking care of one another. The idea that we are one environment. We are all one. We are all water. We, <laughs> as I like to think of it in my stone state of mind, we are just big chunks of ice floating through the universe looking for another planet to fuck up. But we are all one. And that is where those conversations should lead. Just out here in the alley filming my bling. <laughs>